So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio, too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> For now. Next year will be his friend. Until his enemy again, and on, and on. So I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. He seems a nice enough fellow, but I've never been much of a believer. <laughs> Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to... Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me combini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should be needed. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. One man's coin is as good as another's. Noble prices for noble wares. Armor. Well, I suppose you only appear to be calm. Do you require a medical assistant? That's it. Come back if you need me. Come, this is English to the end. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know.
Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Ottimo. You can swing a sword, to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. Ah. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before. My father was a paper pusher. Benny. I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like the something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I think that you have a good experience in building as well. Intenzione di starte nell'impalato. Let's finish this. Coraggio, sono da solo. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was... an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. You've really come into your own. Thank you, uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But, Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables.
Noble spices for noble wear. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. <laughs> 